One Lidditz resident is combining his skills of painting and an upcoming blockbuster to create some unique fan art that's gaining national attention. As News 11's Peter Terabarelli explains, he's creating a different piece of artwork every day for 100 days straight. Star Wars The Force Awakens is the next movie in the Star Wars dynasty. Lidditz resident Kurt Asplund was a young boy when the first movie started showing up. These aren't the droids you're looking for. And now he's reliving that youthful excitement by painting characters from the series. Each painting is only about five by seven. Uh, the watercolor washes with a beautiful uh, ink line on top. So it, it reminds me a lot of like a com of comic book or Sunday morning uh, paper in a sense. The idea started after a discussion between Kurt and his brother and it has grown ever since. I don't know who came up with the idea but uh, one of us pitched to one another that maybe I should do a hundred paintings in a hundred days. I didn't really think too much about it but I just said hey that sounds fun let me uh, get at it and here we are one third of the way done. Social media like Twitter and Instagram have helped spread these unique pieces of artwork around the globe and now Kurt's followers anxiously await what is coming next. I didn't really think too much of it. I just tried to keep engaging people who would uh, contact me and um, it's just slowly starting to grow. All of his works are up for sale, but it is unknown what Kurt will do when the movie arrives and his new challenge ends. Uh, when it's done, I don't know. It, if, if there's an interest, I might do a big, huge, it might be, it'd be fun to do a giant poster with all 100 characters on it, possibly. Then, of course, you have uh, Ewok Wicket. It's just fun to be part of it again and to uh, spread the joy. In Lidditz, I'm Peter Tarabarelli, yeah, no, News 11. Now, if you want to see any of Kurt's paintings and get the daily updates, you can follow him on Twitter at Coffee Drawings. Well, here's what's coming up right after the break on the Early Report.